So what plugins do you need for composing on a DAW? Well, none really. Hello. You know, most third-party plugins are truly a waste of time and cash if you're composing on a DAW. There are a lot of great channels and YouTube videos out there who focus on what plugins do you use for mixing and mastering. And that is all excellent. But here we want to focus on creativity and how to write music. And in that angle, plugins in general is not what you need. You know, third-party plugins look fantastic. They look like the real hardware unit. They have these buttons and switches and meters and fantastic lights. I actually think that's the main reason we buy them. For example, Cubase that I'm using recently updated their interfaces so that all the plugins look much cooler. And you know what? Suddenly everybody is saying, you know, Cubase plugins are really good. They work really well. They're all you need, you know? Before they used to bash them quite a lot. And I think it has to do with it looks better. Another thing to further prove my point is that most plugins that have these hardware interfaces are very difficult to work with. I mean, the hardware units are made for your hands to twiddle about with your fingers. But you have a mouse and keyboard, and that is not that easy to do. In fact, there are a few companies who have understood this. Uh, one of them is FabFilter. They have amazing plugins, and they're widely recognized. But they also have interfaces that are really easy to work with on your computer. Here's the thing. Most plugins out there, free ones, expensive ones, 90% of all of them are great. They actually work, they sound good, they do their job. That's not my problem. The problem is that if you bought a fairly expensive DAW, you already have all the plugins you need. I mean, you spent probably, I don't know, between 300 to up to $600 or whatever your money is. You spend a lot of money on your DAW. So isn't it a waste of time and money to not utilize that? Because the plugins in there are excellent. I mean, why spend all that money on a, on a DAW and then go and spend even more money on plugins you already have? If you're going to spend any money, you should spend them on your instruments. If you have better instruments, you sound better. Don't spend them on plugins. In fact, another reason for not having a bunch of plugins is because it confuses you. Imagine you are trying to create this next piece of music. You should focus on that, not on your 50 different compressors, which one sounds the best. That's a complete waste of time. And in fact, most people are not that good enough to hear that difference anyway. And you need a really good room, really good speakers, well-treated acoustic space to actually hear that subtle change that you can make with plugins. I think that most people want to buy this shiny plugins because it has a, a kind of a promise that maybe this will make my music sound so much better. And think about it. Investing in an expensive computer, an expensive DAW, expensive instruments, a well-treated room, good speakers, all that, it costs a lot of money. And you need a lot of effort and practice to actually get good at this. It just sounds so much easier if I just buy this a lot cheaper plugin and I just turn this button and everything would just magically, magically sound better. That's sort of the promise. I think that's the reason. Well, it's definitely the reason I bought plugins in the past. So here are my advice for getting plugins. One, you should only get plugins when you truly know that they can do something that your current setup cannot. If you're really skilled and you know exactly how your DAW works, but there's just something that you're missing then you look for that plugin. Secondly, you look for workflow. For example, there's a plugin that speeds up your workflow quite a bit. Maybe it's a kind of EQ or compressor that pretty much sounds the same, or sometimes a little bit better, but it does something that's to, to speed up your workflow much, much faster. For example, Isotope, no plugs here, uh, not sponsored by anyone. Uh, have great plugins to really speed up your workflow. Uh, Golfus is another EQ that really helps you out. Uh, there's quite a few ones out there that are really good for specifically helping with EQ and uh, mastering. 
Okay, that's it for today. If you find these videos helpful, uh, please hit the like button or perhaps even subscribe, then you will get more of these videos. Uh, if you want to get notified, don't forget to hit that bell button as well. Until next time, have a great time.